So, careers. I love sport, so I might go down a sporty path. I've always been told that maths and science is the best option. Sometimes it feels like there's just so many career choices. I'm a bit confused. I'm really interested in beauty. I feel like I want to know more about it, don't you? When you think of a career in the beauty industry, what do you think of? Hairdresser. Nail technician. There are more than 5,000 beauty brands operating here in the UK. Employing more than half a million people. But how much do you know about what they do? In this series, we'll be venturing to the other side of what we see on our screens and our shelves. To take a peek at some of the thousands of different careers that are in this fun and creative industry. Not sure beauty is relevant to you? Did you wash today? I hope so. Brush your teeth? Wear sunscreen this weekend? Use a filter on Insta or TikTok? Looking for a way to save our planet? Or did you send yourself up with something fresh today? Well, the beauty industry is responsible for all of that. So, let's go. Computers. Keyboards. Nerds. Coding. Boring. Now let's add beauty into that. I want to find out more about technology in the beauty industry. And speak to people who can help me live the best virtual life. Filters at the ready. What really attracted me to the beauty industry is the fact that it's ever-changing, so you never get bored. Things are moving so fast and the consumers are keeping us on our toes. Beauty is about innovation and you need STEM to underpin all of that. Our society is changing, as our world is changing, STEM allows us to progress. It is an area in a space that you can use so many different STEM skills, whether you are a scientist, whether you're into technology or engineering, there's an opportunity. When you marry the technology and the insight with the creativity, this is exactly where the magic happens. When I was 16, I was already very interested in computers and art and how those two things can come together. When it came to STEM subjects, I knew that I needed to incorporate those a bit into what I was studying. Eventually, when I started getting into 3D animation, physics became really, really relevant, understanding how something moves for character animation, that kind of stuff. How important has technology been in your career? So important. It wouldn't exist. It wouldn't exist, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't we wouldn't have this career. But I think it's just kind of understanding what goes into creating the products we review, recommend, test, work with. But even just the technology we use day to day, the lighting around us, our camera equipment, you know, the general studio setups that we use, it's all created by someone. There's also people that look at analytics on your channels and your social media platforms. There's a lot of different aspects to it. Through technologies like augmented reality, we can try on makeup, we can test different looks and see if we like them. We've got this new piece of technology that analyzes your face. It lets you know what skin type you are and lets you know what your skin needs to help improve it. We've just launched our Spectra Eye product, which is a makeup for the metaverse. The product itself changes color in two ways. So it's invisible to the eye until you take a picture of it and then it becomes digital. The metaverse is an embodied form of the internet, a social persistent space where we can all come together. So of course, we're going to want to adorn ourselves, decorate ourselves, creatively express ourselves in the metaverse, just as we do in real life, just as we do on other digital platforms already. When I'm reviewing products, I'm also reviewing the packaging. There's products that are packed in a certain way because they have to be stored at a certain temperature. Some have to be in glass, some have to be in plastic. So packaging as part of technology as well. Things like the clasp on the product. How easy is it to travel with or to take away with you? What's its purpose? The backpack that we brought across to Beauty, which is the world's first biodegradable backpack in Beauty, came from the food industry. We could print it with biodegradable ink. It's like minimal waste, minimal weight. So that's a technology-based solution for a massive problem with the huge amount of waste that goes into landfill. We are actually not even sure about what would be tomorrow's job and maybe my job would be so different in 10 to 20 years. 
So this is why the beauty industry is so exciting. I see insane demand for these kinds of skills. I'm seeing incredible young female creators who are really disrupting the whole space. They're completely unencumbered by the old school thinking. Beauty industry offers a space where you can really explore that curiosity. You can travel the world, you can look for inspiration and you can actually create something that didn't exist before. To anyone who's interested in joining this industry, I say do it. Come and join the community. Come and join the family. There is a lot of opportunity to build a career in this world and I really recommend people give it serious consideration. I would say go for it. <laughs> much more interesting than I thought. I could see myself in that career. Futuristic. Mind-blowing. Metaverse. Virtual adventures. I think this could be for me. Knowing what you know now, has it helped you? You too could do any of these. The journey starts here. So, could you be a future talent in technology?